you hear me waving? I'm Casey, and this is my pal, Rudy McHoodles. Who? Rudy and I were just discussing whether these cute little decorations are called sprinkles or jimmies. We were just about to put them on my birthday cake. Yep, another year of celebration. Hoo-hoo! And our story today is about a girl who's having a party with her friends and her family. It's called Pinkalicious. Happy Birthday by Victoria Can. I see our friends waving. Hi, Tony. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Danae. Hi, Shane. Hi, Kim. Come on in and let's see what happens at the party. Today is my birthday. I can't wait for everyone to get here so my party can start, I said to my brother Peter. The baker is bringing the most pink-atastic, pink-amazing, pink-a-beautiful cake ever, I said. I want the first bite, said Peter. When it's your birthday, you get to eat the first piece, said Daddy. This chair could use some pink party pizzazz, I said. I can add some balloons to your birthday throne to make it more pink festive said Peter. He tied balloons to the chair. More? Peter asked. Yes, more, I said. More, more, more. Uh-oh, said Peter. Your throne is uh, floating. Oh, no, I gasped. The balloons are lifting me up in the air. Pinkalicious, what are you doing? asked Mommy. Come back, Pinkalicious, yelled Daddy. I don't know how, I said. I rose above the treetops. I could see my friends below coming to my party. Hello, I called to them. What are you doing, asked Molly. Well, I didn't get to fly on my birthday, Allison said. The wind blew me right past them before I could answer. I floated over Pinkville. Hey, Pinkalicious, said Mr. Swizzle. Happy birthday. I floated over a soccer game. Go, Pinksters, I yelled. Happy birthday, Pinkalicious, the team yelled back. Hello, birthday girl, the baker called up to me. She had the prettiest cake I'd ever seen. I have to get home so Peter doesn't eat the first slice, I said. I looked down. Oh, I was way up high. Suddenly, the air grew colder. The wind picked up speed. It blew me even farther from home. When the wind slowed down, I was so far away that I couldn't even see my house. How will I get back to my party now, I gasped. <sighs> there was another gust of wind. I was flying with the birds. Can you help me get home? I asked. Tweet, tweet, said the birds. They flew even closer to me. I heard a strange pop, pop. Uh-oh, I said. Their beaks had punctured a couple of my balloons by mistake. My chair spun and twirled as the balloons lost air. I sank a little lower. When I finally stopped spinning, I could see my house. The baker was delivering my cake. Peter grabbed a fork. Cake time, I heard him say. A breeze pushed me toward my house. Drop that fork, I yelled. Everyone turned. Look, it's Pinkalicious, Molly said. Just in time, said Rose. Thank goodness, Mommy said. How do we get you down, asked Daddy. I thought about how my chair had sunk after the balloons popped. Hmm, I have an idea, I said. I untied a balloon. I sank lower in the sky. It's working, Allison said. I untied the balloons one by one. Everyone sang as I floated down. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear Pinkalicious, happy birthday to you. I blew out my candle, but I couldn't come up with a wish. You'll think of one, Daddy said. 
Mommy cut the first slice of cake. I was about to take a bite when I saw Peter's face. Okay, okay, Peter, I said. You can have the first piece. No, no, you eat it, Peter said. It's your birthday after all. Well, how about if we share, I said. And we both took a bite. This cake tastes as pink and yummy as it looks, I said. Suddenly, I knew the perfect wish. I wish every birthday could be as pink of fun as this one, I said. Well, that was some exciting adventure, wasn't it, Rudy? Who? Hmm. Well, however you like to celebrate, I hope that you do it making some sweet memories. Bye now. <laughs>